Uh, we have more breaking news to bring to you right now. Uh, we understand that more hostages have now been released. 12 hostages, including 10 Israelis and two foreign nationals. They are on their way toward Israeli territory right now. Uh, we are looking at these pictures just coming in to ABC News. Let's get right to our Matt Gum Gutman, who is there in Israel. Uh, Matt, as we watch these pictures, tell us what we know. Kara, we know, just as you said, that 12 Hostages have been released from Hamas, handed over to the Red Cross. In southern Gaza, we saw the convoy of the Red Cross driving right near the border with Egypt. We understand right now from the Israeli military that they are headed to Israeli territory. There they will be met by a specialized Israeli military unit that has training in dealing with hostages. They'll transfer them to an army base here and then to hospitals in Israel. This is the fifth release in five consecutive days. That ceasefire continues to hold for a fifth consecutive day. That, as we understand, CIA Director Burns is in Doha trying to negotiate an extended hostage release period along with an extended ceasefire. Whatever the mechanism is that they are using, it is working. Uh, it took a little bit longer over the past couple of days, but this system is working. Um, Hamas, of course, also getting the respite of those five days of ceasefire, plus the release of three Palestinian prisoners for every Israeli released. So it's over 150 at this point, we understand. And also that allows for the massive influx of aid trucks, at least 200 a day, not enough, but certainly more than it was in the early days of the war. And that has been critical because we understand the humanitarian crisis in Gaza is immense. The U.N. now saying there are over 1.8 million people who are displaced, 1.1 million, Kira, who are sheltered by the U.N. alone. Hunger is apparently endemic right now. Um, infectious diseases also increasing at a very rapid rate, Kira. And as we watch these pictures, Matt, clearly the elderly, um, uh, you can see that the most concern has been about the elderly. Uh, as we get these pictures, you can see them being brought in by stretchers, also the concern over the children and, and the health of those as well. Uh, we will continue uh, to follow these pictures as they come in, as once again, another group of hostages have been released by Hamas as we enter uh, this ceasefire now in its fifth day. We're going to return to the regular network programming. Our coverage will continue right now with me on ABC News Live. You can also find us on abcnews.com. And of course, David Muir and the entire team will have a complete wrap up on all the news that's been breaking today on World News Tonight. I'm Kira Phillips. So glad you've been with us. This has been a special report from ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.